Hi guys, as you will have seen by the title today, I am going to be doing a full face using indie makeup. I'm so excited to share all these products with you, these brands, products, etc. So if you would like to see how I created this look, what indie brands I used, um, then just keep on watching. So I'm first going in with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer and I have it in the shade 1. I've made sure to thoroughly moisturise my eyes this time because um, I did find that it did kind of cling to the dry patches I had. This really is such a good dupe, I believe, for the... ABH eye primer. This might be slightly drier, so if you have oily lids, then uh, yeah, I think I think you might enjoy this. It's a really nice, uh, really nice formula. Yeah, this this primer covers any redness, imperfection, veins. As you can see. But yeah, if you have dry patches, I do find that this does cling a bit. I did forget to say that I did do my brows before before filming, just purely because I don't have a, an indie brow product. I do, I do, I did use <laughs> the Elf Bite Size in the shade Dark Brown. Again, I know it's not indie, but any brows. So let's jump into eyeshadow. I am super excited to be playing again with my Lewis Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. I love this palette so much. Um, this is the colour story. I am just going to be taking mattes from this palette because I'm trying to fit in as many indie brands as I can so so into the crease I'm going with Nymph which is the beautiful green these shadows are amazing Lois Cosmetics is an indie brand that I just highly recommend to everybody the products are amazing Lois is amazing she is just such a lovely person and she produces amazing products absolutely amazing i have all three palettes so the gone rogue which is a really beautiful bright colorful palette and i do want to i wasn't going to but i do want to bring this out just a bit just gently wiggling it out and coming back and blending the edges here oh this color is just the bomb So guys, Halloween is fast approaching. What are your guys' plans for Halloween? Do you celebrate Halloween? Do you do you love the whole vibe or are you not a fan or just indifferent? Let me know what you guys think. I am a huge fan of Halloween. Not gonna lie, I love it. And not just because my birthday is around that time but also I love spooky stuff and I am so excited to get doing some more kind of spooky makeup looks I have so much fun with stuff like that so if you celebrate Halloween what what do you do how do you guys celebrate I love to hear how different things are like in different countries 
and sometimes within the same country in just different areas, um, different social, cultural backgrounds. I find it fascinating and I love to hear what other people do. I'm going to bring that kind of onto the other part of my lid here. I didn't say what that brush was, or the one I used for the primer. Steph. For the primer, I use the Spectrum A08. I love that for eye primer. And then for Nymph, I went in with this Morphe and Madison Beer brush. It doesn't have a name or number. That's what I used. And now I'm going in with my Made by Mitchell ME2, which is this real tiny detail brush and I'm going detail just really tiny I'm going in with Underworld the black this is the blackest black I own and it's also so easy to work with but it's so black it is amazing so yeah if you're looking for an amazing black one that's easy to work with this palette could be for you i do highly recommend well everything i did start talking about the three didn't i so yeah the gone rogue and then you have the rose metal which is for the real nice rosy tones really beautiful beautiful palette I love mine a lot I'm just going to now that most of it is off the brush just drag it out a bit the great thing about these tiny brushes is uh, that they blend little bits on at a time you kind of you build it up so the intensity is really down to you rather than the eyeshadow like how much you put on this brush and I did do want to deepen the outer area a bit she says I'm really deepening it but this is really making me feel happy so yeah when it comes to blowing it out dragging it out I am just kind of dragging and wiggling I will clean up this area when well when I finished my eyes here and just gonna pop back into nymph just a bit because I do want to kind of bring back that green a bit more it looks a bit crazy right now but it will come together I promise you So I am going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer for the next product just because I know it needs a bit to, to stick to. So just quickly popping on the NYX Glitter Primer then we'll continue. Okay so I am going to be going in with a loose pigment from Kyma Cosmetics which is a UK indie brand. This is in the shade Pharaoh. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the shift there but it's so beautiful. And I do pick these uh, products up with the little sponge tip things they came with. Um, just because I've learnt in the past I thought I knew best. I did not at all these little sponge things are how how it works best 
it was really a toss up between like the pastel roses and Kyma Cosmetics for my lid but I have used the pastel roses um, singles far more recently than I have used anything from from Kyma. I know I've used their lipstick but their eye their pigments, their eye pigments are amazing as you can see. Just look at Get this all in. Look at that. There are no words for just how beautiful this is. Obviously with a loose pigment you are really going to want to go in with this before your base I would say unless you're one of these people that can get away with putting powder under your eyes to catch anything um, but also you could spray this little sponge tip applicator with uh, some setting spray or some water um, just to help it stick to the applicator oh my word I am obsessed oh, wow now I'm going to go back into Underworld from the Lois Cosmetics Make Me in the Underworld palette and I'm going to get that back on the outer edge and feather it in. But I'm also going to take Nymph with the same brush just to see if I can get this outer area a bit more, a bit more green. I don't know if that's working. Who knows? Kinda. Well, I think actually it's working really nice. Wow. So, guys, I am going to nip off, clean up my face, have a drink, and then I'll come back to continue the face with you. So, just stay where you are. Okay, so I cleaned up and I did pop some lashes on. I used the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. I love this. I did buy this myself um, to go over top of it once the lashes were on and also to tight line. I used the Madage Beauty Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This set uh, I received in PR. It's beautiful. I love it. What can I say? The lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. They're one of their uh, luxury lashes. I have the Style Extra on now. Um, these I did um, pick up myself. And I've also popped on just a bit of clear lip gloss because my lips were dry. And I just have the clear one from Makeup by Lisa on. And I changed the message alert tone on my phone so if you hear weird alien noises that's what that is so let me pull my mirror forward for primer I have the VE Cosmetics Witchcraft Beyond the Veil primer I love this it is such a beautiful primer it's really hydrating it leaves a nice tack for the uh, foundation to stick to I do use this a lot. Um, v Cosmetics I know are more known for their just amazing eyeshadow palettes and I am not going to take away from that, their eyeshadow palettes are amazing. But I think some of the other products need talking about more, like their moisture liquid lipsticks are amazing, this primer I just love, the graveyard dirt contour 
loose powder i love that so much um i probably should get the lighter one but i much prefer saying that i'm putting graveyard dirt on my face um yes i am a child like that <laughs> but this primer is just beautiful and it's one i highly recommend so foundation let me get my foundation brush what one am I going to use? Should we use you? Let's use you. So I'm going to be using the Spectrum B01 <laughs> foundation brush today. Oh dear. I don't know what happened to me whilst I was not filming. I think my maybe my pain meds kicked in a bit better. This foundation is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And a little does go a long way. Um, this is a foundation that I recommend. I did purchase this myself. I am on the PR list for Madage Beauty, just to be transparent. Um, and I am a brand ambassador for Altitude Cosmetics. Um, but only because I really love the brand, so yeah. I am only using products today that I am more than happy to recommend to you guys. If there's ever a product that, you know, that I think maybe would suit certain people or maybe for preferences others may not may not like it due to different finishes, formulas, etc. But this foundation, I think you would be fine no matter what your skin type, whether you be oily, combination, dry. I am, as of recently actually, I am combination. I did, did? I have always had really oily skin and my T-zone does still get a bit oily, nothing like it used to and I have normal parts and I have dry parts. So yeah, um, foundations etc on my new skin type are uh, a learning curve for me. This foundation is just stunning it just looks so beautiful on the skin you look flawless but natural it's like my skin but better that is well you can probably see that for yourself it sits beautifully Yeah, the coverage is pretty good. Um, I know it can be built up, but I prefer to just, if, uh, if I need a bit of extra coverage anywhere, just to pop on um, some concealer, which is where we are, are at now. We find a concealer brush, you will do. So the concealer I'm going to go in with for face, under eyes, everything is the, I forgot to say what is, this foundation is the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Foundation. I have the shade Medium Light Porcelain, beautiful. And then we have the Madage Beauty Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer. Again, I have the shade Medium Light Porcelain. It's amazing. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my scars. And I have this tiny little thing there that won't go away. Just a bit, a few bits around my chin. Let's get those in. So yeah, this concealer I use a lot also and i do recommend a lot i did buy that myself also the uh both the foundation and concealer i bought myself and 
I love them. I think I probably use the concealer more because with foundations I do try to rotate a bit because I do have quite a few. Um, and concealers, whilst I do have quite a few concealers, I only have I think three that I am confident to put under my eyes that I know are going to look, you know, look nice under my eyes. I'm just taking a Spectrum C06 um, just to dab in there and as if by magic it's gone. I'm also going to pop some of this on my under eyes, so a couple of dots, a couple of dots. I'll have to try this with like little gemstones somewhere and I quite like this little design. Um, I have no idea where my brain goes some, sometimes, so apologies. Uh, yeah, this concealer is, it is good coverage, like I would say really good coverage, um, but also it's kind of, it's not heavy cakey or anything um i use it under my eyes a lot just because it's beautiful i'm just hoping i haven't picked up any green on the brush i don't want green under eyes well maybe i do maybe i do just not yeah I don't know. Oh, and I did want to mention while we are talking about indie brands, this necklace, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it now? The necklace I have on is from Amy's Accessories. She is a very small UK indie brand. Um, go check her out. I will pop her Instagram etc in the description box below all of the brands that i am using and talking about today will be listed linked in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to the powder i'm going to be going in with is from makeup by lisa this is the finishing powder matte and i do love this it has the little Thing in the top that you twist around I love that and then I'm just going to pop a little bit in the lid and then just with a big fluffy brush this is a spectrum a01 I'm just going to just set my face I'm not going to be I'm not going to be putting this under my eyes just purely because I don't want the matte um, and also the eyeshadows that I use underneath are going to have something to stick to. Oh, like a primer. This powder is gorgeous. I do also have the powder foundation um, from Makeup by Lisa and I love that also. Yeah, this powder is beautiful. Okay, so for my under eyes, I am first going to go into, I'm going to go in with Underworld first, the black, just to deepen up the outer part. If you can hear groaning in the background, Poppy's there getting comfortable. Also, if you see a pair of legs, my daughter is laid on the bed behind also. I'm just taking this literally right up against the lash line and then just and gently up that way. I can't think of the right phrasing. But what I'm doing here, I do have a bit of fallout from the lid shade, but I was packing it on, absolutely packing it on and oh, I'm obsessed 
just totally, totally obsessed with, I've got hair on that, go away. Yeah, yeah, totally obsessed with the sh shimmer pigment. I love it, it is pure sparkle, goodness, just wow. I hadn't actually tried, if you hadn't noticed, I hadn't actually tried that pigment as yet. Um, but yeah, now I have, it's, uh, I'm obsessed, absolutely stunning. But yeah, this is from the lid pigment from Kyma Cosmetics. So yeah, definitely would recommend the pigments. And I do have a liquid lipstick from Kyma Cosmetics. wow do i even want anything under my eyes i don't know a little bit maybe i am going to do i want to use the same no i don't i'm going to go into woodland oh i didn't say what that one was did i i used a spectrum is that 13 or 18 a13 i think that is a little smudgy one and to go into woodland i am using a P. Louise hashtag 117 too lost in my blend. I love that. That, this, I have no idea what's wrong with me. So I'm just going to go under the black and just smudge it with this shade. And then I'm just going to kind of go up to almost blend out, blend out, um, soften the edge oh wow i don't know where my words are at today that uh, my sure ain't coming out of my mouth Ooh. i think that works beautifully and this brush for this particular purpose like for under eyes is just brilliant it's perfect size it's fluffy but precise at the same time. I love it. Oh, that looks pretty. Right, I'm going to take a Morphe M149 and I'm going to. I'm going to go into Poetry, which is the shimmer, that shimmer up there. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to place that right on the inner part of uh, my under eye. How well you can see. Is that better? I hope so. This shade is just beautiful. Well, the whole palette. It is just beautiful. This is definitely one of my favourite palettes. It's a very me colour story. I love it. And um, for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to be going in with uh, this single from 5050 Makeup, which is another amazing brand where 50% of the proceeds go to charity and you can actually choose which charity they go to if you want to um i can't remember the name of the shade it says 35 on the back so i'm just going to take that on a pract pencil brush this is from sigma and i'm just going to pop that straight on the inner corner there look at that that is the perfect in a corner shade for this look and this single in particular is just beautiful i'm just dabbing it kind of up and into the first part of the look there just to kind of make it a bit more seamless but oh, i do love these pencil brushes for for doing in a corner highlight because it's precise but it's also just the right size to spread it a bit 
you know, I'm definitely not not winning with my words today, am I? <laughs> oh. That is an absolutely stunning colour. All right, and for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using the same pigment, the same pressed shadow. Um, just taking it on a little Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name or number. It's like a miniature, miniature pencil brush. And I'm just taking a little bit on there and going up under my brow. So pretty. Oh, I took a little bit much there. Never mind. It's all good. Look at that. I love this. The indie brands are just killing it. I mean, all of these products are just amazing absolutely amazing and I recommend all of them if it is your kind of thing like colour story wise or oh look at that yes I'm happy with that really happy with that all right so waterline hmm for my, for in my waterline, come on Steph, pull it together, I'm going in with one of the Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects Gel Liners. This is in the shade Treble, which came with the Rights Collection, I want to say. I love this. And I am going to take that on just a little Morphe miniature kind of linery brush. I don't know what you call it. And so I'm just going to take some of that on this brush and then we will pop that in the waterline. These side effects gel liners are just beautiful. Let's see what I'm doing. Well, I'm actually going to paint my lashes with it a bit because I did it by accident there and I like it. I think it goes really well with this look. Okay, so I have gone over my lashes with a couple of coats and yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. So for contour, I have the Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder in the shade Light to Medium. I love this. If you're not new, you will have seen me use this probably a lot. I'm just going to be just kind of carving out my cheekbones a bit. You know, this powder is really, really good. I love it. And of course, Peaches and Cream is another UK indie brand. Um, I tend to get a lot more from UK indie brands, just partly because it's easier, because we're in the same country. Um, also, I like to support kind of where I'm from a bit. Uh, some of my favourite brands are not in the UK. Nomad being one of my favourite like indie brands not from the UK. Nomad are amazing. Bit down there on my hair out. I'm just gonna roughly take a bit each side of my nose just to and carve that out a bit. Yeah I'm not being overly precise. Yeah that will do. 
And then for bronzer, let's find a brush for bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. This one here, I love this. Um, again, if you are not new, you'll already know this too. I'm just going to bronze up. And I'll just put a bit across the bridge of my nose just to make it look a bit more realistic and try and fake that I've been out in the sun when I haven't. <laughs> yeah, this the formula of this is amazing. Nabla is another amazing brand. Um, bronzed up and I like it. So for blush, I'm going in with a blush from Pout and Shout, which will not surprise any of you that aren't new. Um, this one was very kindly gifted to me by Pout and Shout, and this one is Candy Floss Clouds. You just, I have hit pan on this one. Look at that. Um, beautiful, beautiful blush, as you're about to see. Um, it's like a purpley pinky peachy goodness which I think is perfect with this look I did um and are about orange but I do orange a lot it's one of my favorite kind of blush colors and the orange goes with most things it probably doesn't but in my head it does and I am sticking to it so for highlighter i have another indie brand um trying to fit in as many as possible here um, and this is yvette beauty um i did receive this in pr i do love it yvette beauty is an amazing american indie brand um all of these are amazing go check them all out show some love and this is the highlighter in the shade frost absolutely gorgeous and I think perfect for this look. If you don't like a glittery bl uh, gl blush, if you don't like a glittery highlighter, then you may not like this. Um, I haven't tried any of her other highlighters, so I couldn't tell you if they're different. Um, this formula reminds me quite a lot of the formula for the Kaleidos space age highlighters um so yeah i think if you like them then you'll like this or well, the formula <laughs> um so yeah if you like the formula of the space age highlighters um this is very much like it beautiful and I'm just going to take my blusher brush and I'm just going to go over and make sure they are blended together beautiful okay so finally for lips I have one of the liquid lipsticks from Creature Cosmetics and this is in the shade Boomstick. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this shade so much. And I think it's going to really complement the eye look. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of this look in the comment section below. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing just products from loads of amazing indie brands all of which I highly recommend and please don't worry if you uh, if you know I have some others that haven't been mentioned in this video I will be doing this on a more regular basis um, I really want to just kind of big up the indie brands I think they deserve so so much more love than they get and yeah so let me know what you think of this kind of video, the look. Do you have any of these products? Uh, 
do you have any suggestions on indie brands that maybe I haven't heard of? As long as they're cruelty free. Yeah, let's have a chat in the comments section. I do love to hear from you guys. Um, it's just, I feel so overwhelmed at the love I receive from you. I love you all so much. So yeah, that's going to be it from me for today. All of the brands that I've used, talked about, will be linked in the description box below if you want to check that out. So if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and thumbs up because that really helps me out. And if you're new around here, if this is the kind of kind of looks that you want to see, if you love to hear about indie brands that maybe you haven't heard of before, are you older and loving colour still? I'm 40 next month. I have no intentions of changing how I do my makeup or anything really. So uh, yeah, if that all sounds good to you, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will notify you of my uploads as they happen. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.